There's a, nearly a thousand people employed here in Jeanette by Elliott, including the plant. Uh, Western Pennsylvania, it's over 1,100, because we have other facilities here as well. I've been here five and a half years, and it's an increase of about 40% in Western Pennsylvania in those five and a half years. So what's happened? What suddenly made Elliott take off? The company's been around for a century. Well, part of it is simply, we've, uh, we're a well-managed company. Um, the other part is the markets we sell into, and our management has done a good job of uh, organizing, streamlining Elliott, uh, and really expanding the company's footprint outside the U.S. At least 70% of our sales of the equipment we make here in Jeanette leave the U.S. Um, and it, because we're selling into the oil and gas industry. And the oil and gas development is not in North America, to a certain degree. But they don't build new refineries. They don't build new petrochemical plants in the U.S. The, the, the shale gas is an exception. I mean, there may be, say, a new cracker coming along. We'd love to get that business. But that's still out there in the future. Uh, the, the projects that are real, that are being developed now and have been developed for the last several years are in the Middle East, or in Russia, or in China, or in Brazil, or in India, and that's where we're selling our equipment. This building, very open, very bright, very colorful, does that reflect a new way of thinking here at Elliott as well? It does, and we were a little concerned about how our employees would react to that, but the reaction to this building has been overwhelmingly positive. Everybody that comes in here loves this building. It's a beautiful building. Um, we were a little concerned because people were moving into workstations where before many people had private offices. Uh, but that doesn't bother people at all. Um, the building is designed to be very workable despite having a, a workstation. There's a lot of rooms where people can sit down for casual meetings or more formal meetings. Um, it's a beautifully designed building. It's a beautifully decorated building. We were very fortunate with our partners in KSB Architects from Lawrenceville and Landau Building Company from Wexford in getting this thing built the way it is. Except for the next hundred years. Well, um, right now, we built this building to house about 520 people. Um, it'll probably be full in two years. So we're not set for the next hundred years. I don't know what's going to happen when we fill this one up, but that day's coming quicker than we anticipated.